Hi guys, in this tutorial, we will try to deploy an application using ECS and Fargate. Now, what exactly is ECS and what is Fargate? We will try to learn it through a practical exa example. We will basically deploy a React application using ECS and Fargate. So, what ECS is and what is Fargate, we will try to understand in this video. Now, before we start, let me introduce myself, myself, Prashav. I am a full stack developer and DevOps engineer and uh, yeah so let's get to it so let's see the basic flow which uh, we will be following in this tutorial so uh, this diagram is not that good but it will give you the overview uh, of what uh, basically we will be doing in this tutorial so basically we will have a docker image or docker container which may be hosted on any docker repository be it docker hub uh, amazon ecr or anything uh, i will be using docker hub for this one so the image should be ready so that is the prerequisite of this tutorial that uh, or prerequisite of ecs that the image should be ready so i have already deployed the application on sorry i have already pushed the docker image onto docker hub so we will just use the docker url docker hub from the docker hub and then we will use it in the ECS. Now let's understand the overall flow of what exactly is ECS and what is this cluster and all that. So when you're working with ECS, we basically get to deploy a cluster, okay? So cluster is basically like the overall architecture of your application. So inside that, we get two modes like EC2 and Fargate. Now the basic difference between EC2 and Fargate is the from my perspective it is like the workload now when you use fargate you are basically doing everything serverless now fargate is basically provisioned by aws so everything is done from aws you don't need to do anything you just need to provide the image and how many instances you want the uh, your application to be running and that's it that's what uh, fargate is so it basically is a serverless architecture of deploying application over ecs Apart from that, you get also easy to, but that is a bit complicated uh, to understand uh, that because you need to manage your all uh, container services orchestration, basically like Kubernetes and all those stuff on that EC2 uh, instances. So generally we go for Fargate, but uh, mind you, the f there is a, a big trade-off that the Fargate is a bit expensive than the normal ec2 for this application we will be using fargate because it is very easy to deploy application using fargate and uh, it is now like the industry standard so yeah so let's get to the understanding what is the overall cluster uh, overall architecture so the cluster you got to know so inside that cluster we have a fargate and inside that fargate we have multiple containers so these containers can be any application running like a react application and node backend or java backend or anything like that so it will have multiple containers it can have one it can have many so it can have multiple and it can have more than one so this is the basic uh, architecture now let's go deep into this diagram so let me zoom in for this diagram okay so inside that as i told you in a fargate we'll be having multiple containers of application running now before deploying your application over ECS you need to define these four basic properties you can call it so that uh, your application can be running on ECS so let's understand <clears throat> basically we need to fill all this on the AWS console we will look that in in a moment but let's let's just understand in a brief way so the container definition is basically where we write the container definition the image URL the memory we need to allocate the port and all those stuff which basically we do while uh, writing the docker uh, docker file so we will need to add that in the de container definition now the task definition is basically the self-contained app so basically the application you are running in inside the fargate cluster that is basically task definition so it can it can be one it can be many as i told you it can have one react application front end it can have multiple like it can have a full stack one like one react application also with a backend a node app api something like that so it it can have both both okay the third thing is task role so basically we generally assign an im role which uh, 
which basically runs the task definition. So, uh, you basically select some IAM role if you have some uh, already defined IAM role you can use that one also. Yeah. Now, the service part is the way we basically scale the application. Now, in the service part we basically mention how much uh, how much capacity we want to give to the containers, uh, how much how much we want to scale it like how many applications we want to be running in a particular instance like multiple replicas and all those stuff we can add it in the service part. Now to give you an overview of ECS so it's basically an elast elastic container service. Now if you have worked with Kubernetes it is same like that but what ECS do it, gi it basically gives you everything out of the box so you don't need to like like install Kubernetes and all architecture of Kubernetes you don't need to do anything all all of the things have been done by AWS and it is self managed by AWS so you don't need to be worried about all those stuff. So now this is the basic architecture which we will be following and this is the stuff which will be we will be implementing now let's start with the code part so I have a docker file so this is a simple basic docker file which we basically using for the react application to deploy to basically push the application to the docker hub now it is basically running an nginx on port 80 so that's it so and I have pushed this application over to docker hub so this is the one ECS demo okay now Okay, now let's search for Elastic Container Service (ECS). So, Elastic Container Service. Okay, so this is a new UI. Uh, AWS keep on changing some UI. So, uh, the new UI have some bugs. So, I'm not going to use the new one. So, we will uh, just disable this, and it will redirect us to the old one. So, okay, now. The first part, as you can remember from the diagram we have, the first part is to create the cluster. So this one. So let's just create the cluster here. On the left hand side, you can see clusters. So let's go to cluster, create cluster, and we get three options here. So EC2 Linux, networking only, and with Windows. So we will going to use the networking only part. Okay, let's go next. Here we will name the cluster. So I will name it as ES, ECS demo. And for the VPC part, you can select the basically create a new VPC by clicking on this one. But if you don't want to create a new VPC and use the existing one, you can just leave that as blank. You can also add tags. And if you want some insights on CloudWatch, you can enable it from here. But we are not going to do that. We will have minimalistic uh, example here. So let's go create. And as soon as I create, uh, you can see the CS cluster is created, but it will take some time to get created. Uh, in my case it is created so it's in active state so our well, this part is done so cluster creation is done now let's initialize some Fargate servers where our application will be running for that let's go to task definition first and in task definition we will select Fargate although we have EC2 and external services here so EC2 is the one which I told you earlier which, which will be uh, basically uh, numbers of EC2 instances running and you need to install and configure the container orchestration like uh, Kubernetes and all that stuff over there but uh, using Fargate we don't need that because it, it is serverless and it is totally managed by AWS so let's get that let's select that and click on next here we will add the task definition name so I'm gonna write uh, react ECS demo compatibility is fine task role you can use the default task or you can just leave it blank VPC is already selected which is the default one for the operating system family select Linux execution role you can create a new execution role or use the existing one okay after that the size now the size part is important you need to like how many size your container or the application will be taking up now the memory size I will use 0 0.5 GV which basically we will be in the free tier uh, pool and for the CPU also we will use the minimum one okay after that we will add the container so as you can click on this you can see the container name so I'm gonna write it down if you go to let's just copy it from our docker up so this is the container name and for the image URL 
just copy this okay uh, if you're working with a private repository you can go ahead and take this one memory limits i will put the default value of 128 and of for port mappings as you can remember we are running an nginx so nginx is running on port 80 so we will just go and expose that uh, for the advanced container configuration you can add health checks you can add environment you can have add storage and volumes and all that but for this tutorial we will not gonna do that so we'll just click on add and after that we're just gonna create the task definition now when we go to task definition and uh, we can see the JSON here of the task definition so this is the format which basically um, gets created when you create a new task definition now this is done now let's go to clusters and as you can see we have no um, services or no running task here so let's add a task and basically deploy our application so let's go to task click on run new task and select the launch type to be Fargate operating system will be Linux and the task definition which we just created is here okay so revision is 3 uh, in your case it will be 1 because I have already run this application one time so the revision is coming as 3 uh, platform will be latest cluster we are in ECS demo only and here is the number of tasks so how many tasks how many replicas you want to run so I will select one Apart from that, if you go to VPC part, let's select the default one. And same for the subnets. Security group is also already assigned. If you want to change it, you can change it from here. After that, everything, just leave it as, as it is. And now create or run task. Let's wait. It is provisioning. So let's wait a little bit of minute. And let's see if it works or not. So let's refresh this. Now, after some time, uh, I can see the task is in the running state. Now, let's see if we, can, if we can access this. So, let's go to task and you can see the public IP here. You can see the task is already running. So, you can just copy this and go here. And as you can see, our React application is running on this board, on this IP and using ECS container cells. Now, basically if we talk about uh, like enhancing this architecture you can use code pipeline and all those stuff to basically automate all this stuff so for that we will uh, i will make another video um for this one i think it's done so i hope you enjoy the video and uh, if you have any questions or anything connect with me on linkedin or you can comment down and i will try to answer any of the doubts and all that and yeah so thank you for watching i hope you like the video please subscribe if you want to see this type of content and uh, yeah